then I think we need one. Only you guys. So now when we are talking about personal hygiene, we need one personal cleanliness. Have I broken it down? Yes. yes. So when you go and then you hear about personal um, hygiene, no, it's what it's what it's personal cleanliness. So when you are clean, your neighbor will be able to talk to you. When you are clean, you will make good friends. When you are clean, you will talk to the nice person and let not like <laughs> I don't want to talk to her, I don't want to talk to his mouth is really now he's part of your next uh, death neighbor and that don't talk to that one you know, his mouth is always smelly. And before you know now, do you know what will happen when you are not clean? You will not have friends. Some of us here don't have friends, do you know why? Because you are not clean. When we open our arms like this, the next neighbor will not be able to stand. Because what our arm is what is smelly. It is because we are not observing what personal hygiene. But the moment you begin to what to observe personal hygiene and take care of yourself, you will begin to what have new friends, have good friends, and have playmates all around. In fact, teachers will begin to like you because you are clean. Have you ever seen that scenario? A teacher liking a student because the student is clean? Yes. yes. Because the student takes care of what he or herself. So now let's run a little. I want to give a little summary about the dental hygiene. Now, dental hygiene is not about your teeth being white. There are some of us that we have so many white, like our teeth are very white, but our teeth are not what, clean. They are just white for nothing, but they are not clean. Many some of us are looking to have those teeth, but they are not clean. So, um, dental hygiene is more than having white teeth. So now, how can you have good dental hygiene? Or how can you have good dental cleanliness? What? You brush your teeth. First, how do you do that? Brush your teeth before you eat and brush your teeth before you go to bed. Some of us don't need to brush our teeth before you go to bed. In fact, all of us, let me say like that, two of us, we don't brush before going to bed. And some of us, we brush after eating. Am I correct? Yes! We brush after eating. So today we are here to give you awareness that you should do what? You should brush your teeth before eating and you should brush your teeth before going to bed. Reason is so that you won't have tooth decay and gum infection. Have you seen some people that they are too you begin to have um begin to have um eggs um your, your gum begins to ache you start having problems with your gum your teeth begin to shake but nothing is happening and then they will tell you you get a lot of sweet have you have you heard of that issue? Yes, yes. your teeth begin to shake and then you say your mom will say ah you have eaten a lot of sweet it is not it's because you have not brushed your teeth for more than three days now but you have been eating you don't brush your teeth so it's very important that you do you brush your teeth two times morning before you take um, your breakfast and before you go to bed and as my colleague already said you don't use hand brush not that one that you used to use and scrub shoe or scrub <laughs> yes. you get what a soft brush and then you brush your teeth like two minutes. Some of us, when we want to brush our teeth because we are late for school, we now put the, 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 the pest and then we now go cha 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 cha. That means, mommy, I'm done, give me food. No! You make sure you brush it. How do you brush your teeth? Up and down. Up and down. And then you do what you brush your tongue. Most of us, we don't brush our tongue. Uh, and after putting the toothpaste in our mouth, and then we need to brush the rings that we have got. And we still have mouth color. Do you know why? Because you have not brushed your tongue. So today you should, you should learn that it's always good to brush your teeth up, down, up, down, two minutes, and then you want to brush your tongue. And then you want to bring clean water. So now that you want to replace your toothbrush three to four, uh, three, uh, three months or Four months or after four months, or three, either after three months or after four months, in between what six to four months, you should replace your your toothbrush. Some of us say we have used our toothbrush for over two years now. We are not changing. That toothbrush they gave to us when we had baby, when we were eight. We are still using now. We are eighteen. How many years that? So replace your toothbrush in every what three to four months. So now let's look at the body aspect. I'm just giving a rundown. In our body aspect, we should learn to take our bath. My colleague already said that you take your bath. And she said three times a day, but if you know you don't have water, like so you take your bath two times a day. When you are going to school and when you return, we used to have compound work. Correct? Is it true or false? True. Some of us, when we go back home, when we now pull up our 
our clothes are uniform. Give them one side. Read our dirty clothes that we have worn for two days. We wear them again. And then we start running around, running around, maybe go for errands or sell things for our parents or at least our parents want to wear And then the night we now move back. The next one, we we'll pick that clothes that was sweaty. And then we are accomplished. And then when the teacher enter your class, the teacher has to use what the nose mask to cover your face because of that. The whole class is messed up with body odor. So when you are done with compound work, what do you do? Don't work. That is at the advice of the You should have like two uniforms. So that when you sweat with one, you know that you use the other one the next day. Am I correct? So don't repeat the same clothes that you wear for compound work the next day to school. So and also, make use of what? The My colleague already said that most of us are doing like what? Roll on. Shall we not roll on, right? Yes. yes. But if you cannot afford roll on, what do you do? Make sure you wash the areas that you have AIDS. Some of us, most of us are growing up. We started developing AIDS in our armpits and then our genital parts. So what do you do? Use your sponge, use soap. Some of us don't like using soap to bath. Just carry the water and pour. Mommy, I'm done. Wash our toes, wash our toes. We are done. Wash our hands and our face. And we are done. No. Because when you come to school, you come and create a whole lot of mess. The whole place is many. Yeah, you are not many. You are not many. You know me, you know me. You start fighting. So, what should you do? If you don't, you can't afford to go what should you do? Use clean water. As you are bathing, soak your sponge in the water. Use um, soap. And make sure you work. You still work with your hands. Very well. Am I correct? Yes. Correct. Right. And then, and also, your undies. Most of us, for over two weeks now, for the boys, the boxer they are wearing. Yes. Yes. Am I correct? Yes. For two weeks now, when the boys get the boxer. Like, ah, my belly, 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 my bel
fighting with yourself, it's not your next neighbor now in your past fighting with you for you this and you are going to be the best. So you should always keep what your nails thin and low. As a student, as young as you are, there's nothing you will use long nails to do. Your long, long nails as a girl will not attract a boy. And as a boy, your long nails, your long nails will not attract a girl. So you should do what? Trim your nails and make it what? Neat. And when you are back, you should for use sponge and brush the underneath of your nails. Okay. Let me move forward.